the more than 18 million refugees in this world, 14 million are women and children. What happened in the refugee camps made it so apparent for us that no one was talking with or understanding what it means to be a woman refugee. We founded ourselves because we believe that sometimes it takes a woman to recognize the needs, the special needs of another woman. We went to the Senate, we went to the Congress, and we changed the awareness. Our founders changed humanitarian practice by listening to and learning from the women themselves. After a visit to Cambodia, we became the first U.S. organization to call for a total ban on landmines. We learned that rape was being used as a weapon of war in Bosnia and advocated to end this egregious crime against humanity. Following these initial successes, we started to develop solutions for the problems we identified. In 1994, we published a landmark report on reproductive health care. 25 years later, reproductive health care is more widely available in humanitarian emergencies. We learned that collecting firewood was putting refugee women and girls at a high risk of rape and other violence. To keep women safer, we develop guidelines that are now used by the UN and other international relief organizations. Our groundbreaking work on refugees with disabilities has resulted in greater inclusion in humanitarian settings. We exposed that the US government was separating refugee families at our southern border, and we led the public response to stop this abhorrent practice. Today, we are working to ensure that refugee women have access to safe economic opportunities, and we are playing a leading role in a global effort to protect refugee women and girls from sexual and gender-based violence. We don't just advocate in the halls of power, we work closely with groups on the ground to build sustainable solutions. One of the biggest achievements with WRC is building our capacities that every humanitarian actor has now look at Nuwodu as experts. In 2016, we came out with an action on including persons with disabilities, and that was presented to the UN Secretary General. The partnership between UNHCR and the Women's Refugee Commission dates back to 1989. Together, we collaborated on the first ever dialogues with refugee women that led to the five commitments that UNHCR adopted in 2001. The vision that was set out by the Women's Refugee Commission upon its founding is as relevant today as ever. We live in an unprecedented time with more people forced from their homes than at any time on record. Refugees are not just vulnerable people in need, they are resilient survivors with skills, capacities and experiences that must be tapped and supported. We know that women can change the environment around them when they have the tools and resources they need. Building on the legacy of 30 years, our organization is uniquely positioned to advance humanitarian practice towards greater resilience and gender equality. At the Women's Refugee Commission, we believe that if you get it right for women and girls, you get it right for humanitarian action. Join us.